and there we are welcome my name is Kovanix and again I am pretty far behind in meta or rather on fun guns today we're gonna look at the torrid 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 the torrid so as you can see um, it has an incarnation form I finally returned to Warframe after multiple years of not touching it and then I ran the Netra cells and I saw a lot of people demolish the Necromex that show up with the, the Torrid and I, I was really confused because I, I remember the Torrid being fun to use but I didn't realize it was you know that strong it can just melt a Necromex and obviously I went on the internet this is not my build I'm if you see any of my builds I'm never claiming that it's mine because someone probably already did it and this time I actually stole it for Eiflin. I watch Eiflin sometimes. He makes um, I watched his third guide, which is like one or two months ago. And I gotta say I really liked it because he explained everything really nice. And uh, he actually didn't use a ribbon. Um, another build I wanted to copy had straight up just a badass 200% crit chance ribbon. So this is straight up just the viral slash um, version. Then he showed off with just a little bit of changes. Um, because I have this on here because I want to put Elementalist on. Mm -hmm. Rifle Elementalist, which is a new bond which gives status damage and punch through. And status damage means it, uh, damage held by slash, heat, electricity, toxin, blast, and gas status effects are increased. Uh, so, to how does Thor works? Very, very easy, right? The third shoots like a bubble, like a thingy, that then lingers and then does a little bit overall damage. So if we go over here, let me re-click, put this on maximum, steel path, or and battle group, just to show what it what it does. So if I shoot this on the ground, you see everyone gets um, tickled a little bit. Hi, editing codex here. What I mean by that, but this segment of the video is that the Thorid recharges it in incantation form really really fast considering you only need to hit the body hit so you just need to land a direct hit with a little snot ball you th throw out. Which means it's pretty good because other incarnate weapons rely on getting headshots to then transform into the big gun mode. Only dealing pretty good damage, it's viral slash, of course it's going to deal a good amount of damage. I mean, look at this, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but it's just Viral Slash doing all the work. So now we activate this with all fire. You can see it looks a lot better. Like a lot, a lot better. And then we just aim for the hand. And everything is gone. We recharge it. There you go, everything then. So it shoots, it turns into a laser, which will then arc to other enemies. So, to explain the build, watch Eiflin's video. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy Eximus Gunner, Steel Path, level 215. Oh, Arctis Xmas is kind of rude. There we go. This is just the weapon now. This is no buff, no nothing. I don't think my cat buffed. Again, we we shoot like f two times. Immediately get the incarnate form bank. What I'm going to do, I'm actually not going to try to spread my spores much. Just use my Toxic Clash, because that's my, my funny build. There we go. We didn't even kill this guy. Get out of here. And again, I'm zooming in because I have bladed rounds, which gives me critical damage when I zoom in, etc. You can't really see what's happening because of all the damage numbers. Uh, 
I love how it's not showing me enemies. <laughs> there we go. There's the light flickering. Ooh, don't mind me if you if I don't mind me if I do. And again, no no spores. Shut up, Lotus. I'm trying to explain my next murder weapon. Oh, that's not really what I wanted. That's... That's not really what I wanted. There you go, spread viral everywhere. Ooh. Get rid of the slash. I think this is actually a really, really strong encounter because it's really, really ill. It's really, really um, forgiving. Like I didn't hit a single body hit in that last room, but I still got almost full in encounter. Oh yeah. So now we're against the Orokin. Because the Kuvigrenia fuck blocked me and didn't show up an big boy. I don't know what they're called. Like I have it like on my tongue, but I can't I just can't. So we, we can already see this is like ridiculously strong. You can say it's toxic slash, I say it's the torrent, like, okay, yeah, yeah it's toxic slash, 100%, look at that. <laughs> I mean toxic slash only works if I kill something, so obviously if something kills an entire room in like a second, I will spawn a lot of toxic clouds. I've never seen this tight side before. That is weird. Can my spores like disappear now? I wanna show up the builds. Please. Thank you. Oh one dying. Holy Christ. I think it only survived because I just <laughs> changed. It just changed into uh, one of the golden boys, Arena. I'm gonna get my charge real quick for them. There he is. Where did he go? Why is he invisible? Uh, why is he not taking damage? Excuse me, take damage please. There we go. I think it was the one that can like turn itself uh, invisible or something. I don't. I don't know. Hurry, right, please. There you go. Someone is getting a necromank. Perfect. Thank you. Self. Very fast. Dead. And now the necromank. Needs to follow. I don't even know what I shot, but something immediately made it explode. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I hope you were able to see what I was trying to show off. I just wanted to show off the build, and I think the build is really fun and very strong, obviously. I tried it against the Kuva Grenier, we tried it against the Corrupted, and we also tried it against, well, the Necromag. And it worked, but I was just playing a very squishy frame in Saren, so obviously I couldn't show the entire thing. I also hope that my OBS recorded it correctly, because looking at it right now in my recording, um, it looks very pixelated sometimes when I'm doing like the big numbers, uh, which is like a bane and a curse of Warframe. Sometimes recording it is quite difficult if, well, the entire screen turns orange. But I hope I got the point across that this build is very fun and very strong. And I highly recommend checking on iFans video if you want a little bit more in-depth 
explanation how and why we mod the weapon how we do and obviously he also has some really nice builds for if you're struggling with natural cells for you know so it's a build for the torrent against the murmurs so thank you again Eiflin. this is a very cool build thank you for showing it off and i give it my stamp of approval it's very fun and very strong and thank you guys for watching